Well, Ron Tamales is no longer Secretary of Education, but he is still being paid. Tamales is no longer Secretary, but he's still getting paid like one, just under 140 grand plus benefits as a special assistant. Acting Education Secretary Carolyn Dumeret says she keeps Tamales busy despite a Pittsburgh Post-Gazette report that examined his calendar and found weeks of no activity in the past year. Records also showed about one phone call a day and just a handful of work-related email. He um, does a lot of different things. His office is uh, three doors down. You could look at his name on the door. The strange case of Ron Tamales has gotten a bit stranger tonight. There are allegations of a cover-up. Is the Department of Education trying to cover for Ron Tamales? Acting Education Secretary Carolyn Dumaresk assured me Thursday that former Secretary Ron Tamales was earning his keep. What was presented to ABC 27 is, as proof that Tamales is working hard could be evidence the department is hiding something. Dumaresk was refuting reports that Tamales was rarely seen and had accomplished little. As I said, his office is uh, three doors down. You could look at his name on the door. He's in there. Um, he interacts with staff on the floor. His name on the door. Dumaresk emphasized that Thursday. She didn't mention that that nameplate was just put up on Wednesday. Upset employees did tell us, and the Department of General Services confirmed it. You see the quotes that uh, she sees him right down the hall. You also can't find him in the phone directory of state employees. Surely he has voicemail at his office. We called the switchboard in downtown Harrisburg and asked for Ron Tomales. The operator asked us to spell it. T-O-M-A-L-I-S. Tomales. The number the operator had given us for Tomales actually went to the executive offices and Carolyn Dumaresk. Yes, I'm trying to get a hold of Ron Tamales. After about a minute on hold, Dumaresk's secretary came on to say that she was taking Ron Tamales' messages. Does Ron have a voicemail or no? We were told simply, he does not. I got him working. He's been doing the work. She's satisfied with it. I'm satisfied with it. It just doesn't look good, Dennis. It just does not look good. Senator Mike Fulmer chairs the Education Committee and said he's had no contact with Tamales the past 15 months. What specifically does he advise you on? Well, he's advising her, and he's been working on, I don't have the whole list here in front of me right now. And, and this is the kind of things I think that really makes people upset on the outside, looking in at how their government operates. He's not a Christmas movie. Tamales has not been seen since the story broke, Dumaras said. He's on vacation this week. I just answered, it's not a ghost employee. Because $140,000, you know. That's a lot of money. Is. That's a lot of money, and you should be working for your money. As long as uh, the Secretary of Education is satisfied so much. Okay. Take over.